Hi everyone, this is uh, Dr. Karamachi. I'm here at the Integrated Therapeutics Clinic. I wanted to talk about some of the symptoms that you would see in kids who have uh, one of the set spectrum issues. So uh, the most common symptom is uh, throwing tantrums. So they tend to throw more tantrums than usual uh, than compared to other kids in their peer group. And also you have to look at the situation. They may be throwing a tantrum in a situation where you don't expect them to throw a tantrum. So the situation is also the frequency of tantrums. Also, they have a lot of repetitive behaviors. So they may be spinning themselves or they may be constantly spinning an object. Uh, they may be uh, body rocking. So they may be rocking back and forth all the time. Um, so in some of the literature, they call this as a soothing behavior, uh, like if they have pain inside, whatever they use, this repetitive behavior to soothe themselves. So there are multiple other repetitive behaviors uh, that you would notice. And, uh, uh, and the biggest issue is poor social behavior or poor communication. So uh, when you compare it to their peers or uh, other kids their age, they may not be able to make uh, good eye contact or they may not be able to make consistent eye contact with their peers. And uh, when they're having a conversation with the parent or the other kid, uh, they may not be able to properly take turns. Like they may not be able to wait until the other person finishes or they may talk over the other person. And uh, uh, overall, uh, poor uh, ability to socialize. Uh, typically, you put two kids who are strangers in a room, maybe 15 minutes, half an hour, they start to socialize, they start to play. But if it's taking uh, one or two hours or even longer for uh, kids to play, then that can suggest uh, issues with uh, uh, socialization. Uh, so these are some of the common symptoms that you would notice. Again, uh, the, this field is still evolving. We really don't know exactly uh, what the uh, classical symptoms are or what the, um, uh, what the true symptom is or, or what's the clinching one that, that shows for sure that this is true autism or it is true Asperger's, we don't know yet. So. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, uh, most of the time this diagnosis is made by the school nurse when the kid reaches school when they are three years or five years old. Again, thank you for listening to this video. I look forward to talking to you again. Have a good day. Bye.